Hello, welcome back to art class. Uh, today we are going to be starting a new project because you just wrapped up your old one. And our new project is going to start out actually very similar to our previous project uh, where we're going to make a watercolor wash background. Um, but I'm going to kind of give you a, a head uh, look at where we're going. We're going to be using a watercolor background to create these 3D, 3D spheres. And so uh, the first part is going to be really easy. It's very similar to how we started the mountains project. Okay, so it's basically the same thing. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush, your sponge. Um, I kind of wish I actually had a sponge because the sponge would be faster for this part. And I do recommend uh, something to go underneath this because you're going to have everything being so wet. Uh, so again, I can use a uh, some kind of dish or lid or plate or whatever to just put the this on. And you're just gonna soak your picture first. Right? And like I said, if you had a sponge or even a spray bottle, that goes a lot faster uh, than using a brush here because the brushes tend to be kind of small, but I'm gonna work it as fast as I can. So now I got my paper soaked. Uh, this is going to be very, like I said, very similar to how uh, we did last uh, project, except you get to use all the colors. There's no colors um, limited, and you kind of get to make whatever things. Uh, it's just kind of best to put colors that are good next door to each other. But I'm going to go in and just kind of put my colors where I think they should go. sure you go all the way to the edge we don't really want any uh, areas not colored in paint again remember it's not toxic stuff so like me I got some on the link I'll just wash that off later that way I can use the pan for actual pizzas Don't worry about having it bubbly or anything like that. That actually adds a little bit of extra character to your um, the, the spheres that we're going to make. But now you're going to do that and you're going to have to let it set. Uh, and this is actually where we're going to leave it for today. Because again, this, the painting part doesn't take very long, but the drawing part takes a while. So we're just going to leave it at that. Now again, as we did before, um, some of you don't have watercolors on. So I've already pre-made uh, this one with marker. And again, the, the more solid you can make it, the better off you are. Now you can use your brush or sponge to get the paper wet. Um, again, I'm just using a cookie pan because it fits in there. Or you can use a spray bottle. And I'm gonna go ahead and use a spray bottle on this one. And this is just water from the sink. Just a different way of adding it. Make sure it gets good and soaked. I can see if you're careful you can see some of the colors already running which is what I want I want it to kind of turn into a watercolor and then uh, spread out a little bit you can use a spray bottle to wet the paper or you can use your brush I've done it both ways so you can see that it works okay. and then you just let it sit and dry it's good. And then it'll take probably about 45 minutes to an hour for it to dry, so I just set it off to the side. Then snap a photo of it like you did before, and then next week we'll go into how to turn them into spheres and what to do with those spheres, because there is a little bit more to the project than just turning them into circles. All right, I'll see you next week. <laughs>